Just make a world. Or oh, multiplayer world. Just make a world and get started. Hello! Hello everybody! Welcome to another Welcome to my first tutorial with me, Redstone is Epic. And in this tutorial, I'll be showing you and explaining how to install Minecraft. And if you don't know how to install Minecraft, then this is good for you because. And as well, if you don't know how to install Minecraft, then I would check out other videos about how to actually play it. Or actually, or use the tutorials on the actual game. So this is just how to install it. Because I'm not going to go into how to play it and all the options and everything. So first of all, what you want to do is head to your browser. It, this could be the Google Chrome, Mozilla Firefox, Internet Explorer. It could be and Microsoft Edge, it it could really be anything. So what I want to do is search in your browser Minecraft.net. If you don't search it, put in your website thing. Minecraft.net. Then this site will come up. This is where you get Minecraft and get Minecraft basically and go to your user and all that and this is base this is assuming that you've already bought a Minecraft account username so if you haven't what you need to do is click get Minecraft and it's 18 pounds 17 pound 95 if you're precise, I don't know how much it'll be in any other currency, so I'll just check out the website and to down to actually download the game, you head to login and I'm gonna blur this out because you log in with your email that you set up with your account so so. Yeah, you. I'm gonna blur that out, and you use this email to log in. And once you've put your email in the username, then you go to your password, type in your password, and then you. Remember me if you want to remember me and sign in and you get to this same website again. Oh, it still looks the same. Well, no, it doesn't actually. It says download by code instead. What I want to do is click download. Pretty simple. Self explanatory. Show all platforms. So, what you want to do is click the link on this part of the website that is your that is for your platform mine is windows uh, this for mac this for linux sort of uh so you click the link i there's two options in windows i i would go for exe because that's what i've always done it's just easier so you click it and it downloads and then you can go off the website and if I were you, I would move it to your desktop. It makes life easier. And I put all my files and everything around it. And you've basically installed Minecraft now. So, Minecraft. And it downloads runtime and the game. Game folder, runtime folder, it downloads that 
and you wait a while and should be ready to go you as i said like if you don't know how to play minecraft you'll gradually figure out the more you actually play on it and you can watch other videos do more research and all that stuff to find to find out so then it'll say setting up runtime and it'll come up with a folder saying runtime. These are just folders to install and help run the game because without these it wouldn't actually run properly. So don't worry if like if these are, this is what's meant to happen. It's not like a hack or anything. Don't worry. Sorry for worrying. Downloading launcher, and then after this part, it should say unpacking launcher. Then, oh, nothing's coming up. Uh oh, uh, yeah, it has. So, <laughs> it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Right, so it'll come up with update notes, launcher log, which is basically how much you've been in stuff like that profile when I to edit which profiles you want to do delete them or edit or change the names be you can change the names here yeah so basically you can change you can add new profile as well these profiles are helpful because like some of them you can name oh this version which means you don't have to actually go into the settings of each profile and change the version every time you go on one to go on a different version every time so i keep different ones for different versions just to make it easier and i i called this one normal because and this is the one which i have my latest version on and then launch visibility so if you want this is about this minecraft launcher thing you've opened this is this is about this opening and closing and hiding and stuff like that I put mine on a high launcher and reopen when game closes because personally I prefer that. So it's easier. You just tick that boss and choose which one. You don't even have to do that, but I like it like that. JV JVM arguments if you want to change it to use up more space or something like that. Make it faster. Then you can enable disable development versions and snapshots basically snap if you're if you don't know what snapshots are snapshots are basically um like pre-versions of the actual versions of the game at the minute the latest version is 1.8.9 1.9 is nearly out it's got to pre-4 snapshot exciting and there is some glitches in a lot of the snapshots which is just fun to do and so save profile press play then it downloaded in launching do 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 takes a bit and then it will come up as minecraft 1.8.9 because that's the latest version and There we go, it's loaded. So then you can change the options to make it the way you like it and change put resource packs on and you can um, change all that and just make a world or multiplayer world. Just make a world and get started. Anyway thanks for watching i hope you learned how to install minecraft and get to like subscribe share follow me on twitter for the latest news and updates and follow me on twitch for live streams and i'll see all you in the next video